This is a demonstration of how to get Apollo and Artemis's virtual display working properly for you. I was having an issue where when my monitor turned off, my remote client would also turn off. It would lose connectivity and I couldn't figure out exactly what was going on. I thought I had all my options set up correctly, but there's a, a little bit of a finickiness or a little bit of a definition issue with uh, how virtual displays work within Apollo. So let's work through that. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is after you've installed Apollo and you've paired it with your uh, device of choice, whether TV, mobile phone, or tablet, you're going to go up to Applications. So I've got Desktop, Steam, Big Picture, and Play Night. I'm going to uh, use Steam Big Picture as my example, and what I'm going to do here is hit Edit. I'm going to go to scroll down and I'm going to tick this always use virtual display. What you need to be clear about here is that this just enables the virtual display to start when you start Steam Big Picture mode from your remote device. It does not say use this as my display to display that application on. So um, if you don't see this option, one thing that you should check is that after you install Apollo, there should be a virtual display device installed on your PC. Uh, so I've got Device Manager open up here, and if I open up Display Adapters, you'll find the Pseudomaker Virtual Display Adapter. If you don't see this, that means that something happened wrong with your install, you're going to want to want to try that again. Um, so if you if you do have that running, you'll have this option here, uh, and then you're, you're good to go. So I'm going to have this ticked, and then go down here to click Save to make that my option. This will not work properly yet. So what we're going to do is shift over to the tablet and configure your session so that it will display on the virtual display. So on my tablet, I'm going to not open up Steam Big Picture mode, but I can actually open up my virtual desktop first. Okay. So what's happened here is that on my main display, everything that was there was present, but on my tablet, as you can see down here, I've just got a blank screen. So my tablet is actually broadcasting the virtual display right now. But if I was to launch Steam Big Picture mode, it's actually going to show up on my monitor, not down here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to long press on my screen, and then I'm going to bring up my display settings. And you can see here that I've got display 1 and 2. Display 1 being my physical monitor, Display 2 being my virtual monitor. Um, in this section here where it says multiple, dis multiple displays, you can see that this shows that it's Make My Main Display is ticked. So what that says is that while we're connected from Artemis to Apollo, anything that we launch is going to launch on that main display. We need to change that. The great thing about this is that the change that we're going to make is only for sessions that you start from Artemis. Once you disconnect, everything will go back to normal. So I'm going to click on display number two. I'm going to hit make this my main display. <clears throat> and we're good to go now. So I can close down. I'm going to uh, kill, my session from, uh, kill my session from Artemis on my tablet. OK, so I'm going to quit that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Steam Big Picture mode icon. And because we, in Apollo, set uh, a virtual display to be created, and in our virtual desktop mode, we set to make our, vir or, sorry, uh, when we connected to virtual desktop, we set display number two to be the primary desktop. Now we get Steam Big Picture mode opened here. And I can then turn off my main display and just use this remotely. Uh, the virtual display functions very similar to a physical HDMI dummy plug, which will keep that uh, connectivity live. It will make it make it seem to your computer that there is a display connected, because if there's not, then your computer will kind of go into a bit of a sleep mode, and it will terminate the connection uh, with, the, uh, with the virtual display. So hopefully that configuration will help you get things up and running on your mobile, tablet, or remote device.